deadlifts and dames going down this Saturday at Steel Athletics in Tamuning. Registration is closed, but a total of 30 female lifters are already registered and expected to compete in the deadlift competition. Well, we're going to run it like an actual, you know, as close to an actual deadlift meet as possible. So uh, we're going to have maybe three, three different flights, so three different uh, sections of girls, and then each lifter in that flight will have three attempts uh, for their deadlift. Doors will open at around 11.30 in the morning. Lifters will arrive at 12 in the afternoon. Competition will get underway at 1.00. There is no actual um, set spectator fee. Uh, we're taking donations and 100% of the donations are strictly going to Harvest House. So during that time, if you want to just come on down and support, that would be great. We will have some local vendors here. We will have a food truck. We do have Health City, um, Original Strength, Guam, and I believe our Sundays. Um, we do have a couple people coming down, so um, all local vendors that we would love to support. The all-female event will feature first-time lifters hitting the platform to showcase their strength for a worthy cause. This is the first time we're having an all-women's event. Um, I've never been a part of something like this, especially a deadlifting one. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, so I'm just excited to see how the event turns out and to compete with all the ladies, but most especially competing with myself to see how far I can push myself. What I'm looking forward to most is just to lift, deadlift the most. Wait, this is the first time I've ever done it. So it's basically just to deadlift as much as I can, whatever my body feels is good. And just have a lot of fun because it's all females and we're all here to support each other. In soccer news, the Bank of Guam Lady Strikers captured the 2018-2019 Bud Light Women's Soccer League Premier Division title, finishing the season with the best league record of 8-1-2. The Lady Strikers defeated the Islanders FC 5-0. Guam Shipyard 8-2-1 secured a silver finish in the league standings with a 6-0 shutout over the Napa Lady Rovers. Quality Distributors 8-3 finished in third place with a 2-0 victory over Heavy Hitters Nutrition Mission Heat. In the league's Golden Boot Race, Heavy Hitters Nutrition Mission Heat's Alexandra Shimasaki finished in first place with the 11 goals scored for the season. Bank of Guam Lady Strikers goalkeeper Angeline Sobrevilla cemented her spot at the top of the Golden Glove Award race, conceding only eight goals in 902 minutes played.